the wandering albatross. A beautiful seabird soaring to its highest potential on a wingspan of up to 11 feet, the largest of any bird in nature. Like this graceful creature in flight, Wingspan Life Resources brings an expansive breadth of services to those challenged by age, ability, or health, so they can realize their own unique potential and their own unique dreams. I got a call one day from the case manager and she told me that she had a guy that she was desperate for help for and she told me that Jack was um, a large guy, that he had some significant mental health challenges, and the prior provider had not been giving his medication to him as she should have. So he had had some aggressive episodes. So we went to see Jack at the crisis place that he was living, and we walked in, and he looked up at us and he smiled, this really big smile, and he said, are you here to give me a group home? And he came to Wingspan and he is probably one of the most popular guys in town. Everybody adores Jack. He's very dapper, always dresses nice, wears his, his brim hats, and he's just a star. He's a big teddy bear. No aggression whatsoever since he's been with Wingspan. I think he's happier than he's ever been in his life. When Wingspan began, we set out to help people like Jack find the same sense of belonging and happiness, a commitment that now spans over 40 years. Looking back at the past, when Anne, St. Anne's started 40 years ago, there were more large institutions with 50 to 100 people living in them. Today, the average size of a home for people with disabilities is four people, and there are many people who live on their own out in the community in apartments. Back then, almost 50 years ago, uh, the advice from doctors was to put this child in an institution. It was never an option in the first place. We were gonna uh, care for and love this child uh, like uh, uh, nothing had ever happened. And uh, that was probably the best decision we've ever made. So people are living at home well into adulthood. Sometimes even into their 40s and 50s, their parents begin to age and can't handle it anymore. And then we might see a referral. And also, I think we thought that she'd be probably happier with uh, her peers. It's clear they've made this their home and that the environment is providing stability while fostering personal expression. And what are you listening to? Grandpa and Mary. It's also an example of how we're seeking to bring technology into their environment, not only to modernize the homes they live in, but to connect them to more of the things and people they love. There they are. Our family, not only Lynn, has been welcomed with open arms. It didn't take long before we were moving Lynn in. We received the best Christmas present ever, December 1st, 2012, moving day into Thomas House. And it didn't even have to be wrapped. We are so pleased with the care and compassion shown by all the staff. We are not having sleepless nights like before, as we have seen a nice change in Lynn. She's also back in the community working some and we are looking for even bigger and better things to happen in her life. And we know it will with Wingspan. Our staff is the lifeblood of our organization, providing one-on-one -on -one care, 
practical assistance with life's daily tasks, and a deep connection with them that undoubtedly enriches their lives. And while Wingspan staff represents our greatest resource, it's also one of the many elements of our organization that is threatened by the continued cuts in funding. The funding cuts that have hit us in the last five years have been pretty substantial. There are a lot of people in group homes that need the service that they're getting and more. And that's what worries me the most of all because over the last several years, we've been asked to do the same service or more with less resources. And we are very committed to the work, so we'll continue to do that, but it gets harder and harder and harder to do that every year. Aging consumers pose yet another challenge. Robert has been under our care for many years. His diabetes and other chronic conditions have forced him to receive dialysis three times a week. And as he ages, his reliance on Wingspan continues to grow. They do a lot for me here. The last year's been a lot for anybody to go through. And I'm pretty proud I've made it. And with the support of generous friends like you, together we will help vulnerable adults thrive.